you doing? This is Team Heart Life Captain Albert Zertucci. All right, today we're going to be working on our Knot Tying 101 Inline Loop Made Simple. We're going to concentrate on this one today because it's actually very, very easy. What you can do is, on your main line, what you'll do is you'll rotate it, just like this, and then these two lines that are parallel to each other, you're going to flip them inside each other. You're going to go one, two, three, and on your fourth one, you see the loop you've made? You're going to take your main line loop right here, and you're going to pull it right through. This is called a blood knot. And this is actually a very good way to tie two lines together as well so that way you can continue fishing. So once you get to this point, make sure to lubricate your line on both sides because this is a monofilament. As you're pull, pulling apart, you'll see all these areas. Well, those will create friction that will weaken your line and weaken your, lot, your knot as well. So here we go. Oh, pulled it out. So pulling it through. right there and there's a loop okay all right so here we go again you get your main line you know rotate it you know flip it on itself and then you're going to take these two lines your main line is basically now here and this will be what we call your tag end you're going to rotate it one two three and four Basically, you got equal amount of twists on both sides. So now you're going to take your tag line or tag loop, should we say? And you're going to pull it through. And what you can do too, if you notice that on the first one we made a small loop, what you can do to make a bigger loop on that side is use something that you can get a grip on, do something else, or get somebody to help you. And you're going to pull your main lines this way. And that start, you can see the loop starting to get bigger. Make sure to lubricate it before you go to pulling. All right, and there we go. So now I've made my loop a bit bigger. It all depends what kind of loop you want, but that will be the technique to do it. All right, real simple, flip your line, and then your two main lines that are parallel to each other right here, you're going to rotate them. One, two, three, and four. On the fourth one, you're going to pull your tag loop through your, your loops right here, or your loop. And see, see how it's already getting real small on me? I'm going to get some assistance. And I'll pull back, pull down, and then I'll start pulling my main lines apart. That's how I can make my loop a bit bigger. All right, so now that I've made a few loops, we're going to make one more just in case. Like I said, it's really simple. Flip it over. Now you got your two main lines right here. You're going to rotate them. One, two, three, four. Now I've got a loop there. I'm going to pull my tag loop through there, and I'm going to lubricate my lines. Get some assistance, pull down a little bit, pull your main lines apart. Okay, and you'll see now, no matter how tight I pull on it, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to close down and have my hook right there where you got to cut your line. Okay, now that I've done that, I've got several hook loops here. What I can do is I can put my weight on, that'll help me control my line. So now, to keep it down. So now I'll cut this off and even then my end loop is real strong. So now once you pull your loop through you can flip your line over and it'll sit on this side. Now see how I'm using real heavy line? This is 100 pound test. I went with real thick line so you can kind of see it in the video but you'll see how it wants to creep back over. All you have to do is put a bit of pressure on it the monofilament has line memory. See? But now it's staying on that side. Occasionally it'll flip over here. 
pay attention on this side because if it does sink in there that means you're barely holding on by one strand by having your double strand like this it allows it to hold your hook in place so now that I've added one I can actually add two two hooks here and this is what is very popular for offshore fishing this is uh, for snapper and stuff like that you can fish for black drum which is the way I was taught when I was younger to go drum fishing create inline loops like this, add our hooks, and we'd go fishing. Now, that same loop right there, say you get broke off and you catch your line back, what you can do, here's a real simple technique, it's pretty much mimicking the same thing. Tie a quick little knot here, that's both lines, right? And you create that loop again. So now you're going to do one, two, three, and then four. Now you're gonna take your loop end, you're gonna pull them both through, so now I'm connecting both my lines. There you go. Now you can clip, and this knot is extremely strong, so now you've got both your lines connected where you were broke off. So again, if you ever break off, don't, don't panic. Got my break off, got my, my main line again. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a simple knot. And this, the reason I'm doing this is it helps me control both lines at the same time. Especially if you're fishing by yourself, this is gonna be a major help. So you're gonna flip your lines again, your main line. One, two, three, and then four. On your fourth one, you're gonna pull your loop end in. There you go. Duplicate your lines, and you're going to pull them apart, and there you go. And now I've, I, I used it, that same loop for two different purposes. One is to add my loops for my line, or two for when I have a break off, now I can add my line back. And that line will hold, just remember though, depending on how thick your line is, that knot can get in the way when you're casting and stuff like that. So this is kind of an emergency deal of adding more line or getting your line back. So a lot of times too you'll cast out and you have to cut your line because you see a fray. That can be another reason. Cut your fray out, reattach your line, and this will be strong enough to finish your fishing trip. Alright guys, so again that, that was a simple way to create an inline loop. And now you've seen where I've used it for my weight, I've used it for my hook, and even to attach a line when you, you have to break off or you have a bad fray that you know ain't gonna make a fight, so you go ahead and deal with the issue right then and there. All right, guys, so next next video will be on end of line knots, and we're gonna do a special series on each, or a special video on each one of these, so that way you can see this is how your, your gear is gonna work once you get it in-house or in your tackle box. Now you've got a few knots to work with. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel, Team Hard Life. And we appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one. Thank you.